You know, this young man, the cavernacle showed up in my feed and he has this video. It's titled The Evolution of the Amazing Atheist from the father of anti SJW YouTube to feminist Bernie, Bernie bro. Now, the cavernacle, you made one mistake. There is no evolution. The amazing atheist, TJ Kirk, has always been a feminist. Many of these anti SJWs and anti feminists were always feminist. They only made these videos because they personally didn't, don't want to be attacked. But they're all right with other men being attacked. And we'll show, for example, here he is. He's talking very politely and congenially with Vosh, who, of course, is the same way. Vosh is a good male ally, and he is completely for other men getting zapped as long as he doesn't personally. These people are bottom of the barrel of humanity. Now let's hear this. To my credit, that was a lot I just laid on you. I'm sorry. Just, yeah, no, go no, no, however no, you no, like. Exactly. Um, so, look, the I, I, I defy anyone to find an anti SJW video on YouTube that predates It's Only Sexist Women Do It, which is a video I made. I don't remember what year it was. Um, it's a video I'm still proud of. It's a video I can use to be to this day. The, the runaway success of that video and the front page of credit, and you know, and I'll point out too that that's why he's talking to Vosh as well. Uh, Kirk here. He had uh, huge success at the very beginning, you know, when YouTube was still young and his uh, popularity has been waning over time because he hasn't been able to evolve and, and remain, you know, important in the scene. So here he is talking with, uh, with uh, Vashir, hoping to keep his channel and his personality reinvigorated on YouTube. I don't think it'll work, but nevertheless, that's what it is. This is a solopsistic person. This is as low as humanity gets. Millions of views. Oh, no, no it was a, you, yeah, it took off like a, like a, like an earthquake. Right. It rippled and across so the entire that internet. Was, that was kind of, it's, I mean, obviously there was people bitching about, you know, political correctness and stuff long before that. Notice he's downplaying it and saying bitching. I would say they're putting pushback there's feminist propaganda, and there were men who were against that propaganda. They were debunking it. So I call it pushback, but notice he says bitching. So Kirk, were you bitching when you made that video? Maybe you saw yourself as just bitching. I don't. Well, I see you as bitching, yes, but I see other men as not. We're putting up a defense. So I can't take credit overall, but I, I think I take credit for popularizing that sort of content on the platform. But, uh, you know, what started to me as sort of a critique and outrage culture. With Hold it. How's it an outrage culture? Feminist demonizing men isn't being out, an outrage culture. It's a hate movement. So again, what he's doing, he's devaluing men who stand up against this hate movement because he is for the hate movement. Which is, you know, now you have it to the point where, you know, every artistic decision that's, you know, someone in the film is being you know, loudly screamed about by these man babies who you know, can't handle diversity in video games. Okay, so, just rebuild yeah. himself. He, ha he is a feminist, he always has been. He's always been a feminist. He's using anti-male language of man baby. So a man stands up for himself and says, no, I'm a human being too. He says, you're just bitching, stay in your place. That's what he means by that. He's always been a feminist. All his anti SJW videos <laughs> has always been, you know, a virtual signal to the girls, please don't come after me. Okay. This is all we else we need from this video is right here. In regards to certain things, I can eat Sarkeesian. Today we will talk about feminism. Have my criticisms of feminism softened? Let me explain. I continue to maintain that the performative wokeness of some variants of feminism is nothing more than prudish repression and puritanism. Okay, he's wrong. He's going to be wrong on almost every level. Uh, these aren't Puritans. These women who want to stop men from having their sexual kinks, 
they themselves have their own. These women watch porn and they, they get off on all kinds of weird shit. They just don't want men having it. However, I would approach this subject differently today than I have uh, previously. I do believe that it is important to discuss that feminism, like Christianity, is not one monolithic philosophy. There is not. He's wrong again. It's a hate movement. That's that is monolithic. That's the core value of feminism. That's like saying the KKK is different from the white nationalist or the skinheads. The differences are skin deep. They all have the same common goal, the hatred of another portion of the population. So he's dead wrong. The amazing atheist, even here, is either ignorant or he's dishonest. And personally, I don't think he is ignorant. Uh, most guys see by now what feminism is about. So I would just say he's dishonest. Feminism, there are feminisms. Some of them have more merit than others. Ultimately, feminism is nothing but an ideological lens through which you can view the world. Yeah, like it is the KKK. Their ideological lens is that um, men, uh, non-white, for lack of a better term, men are beneath them and they want to see them suffer. And that's what the feminists are about. All feminists, the TERFs are no different from the intersectional feminist. <laughs> it's all just window dressing. Uh, they, they, their core value is the hatred of men. So TJ Kirk here, he is for this. He has always been a supporter of, the, of this hate movement. He, he hates other men as well. He just wants himself to be exempt. This is the lowest form of human that exists on the planet. One of many such lenses. And when these perspectives lay claim to being correct instead of just being one way of hearing philosophy. If the variant of feminism in question is a relatively benign notion such as people should all be treated equally and enjoy the same rights and privileges regardless of their sex. He knows this is false. So I'm going, again, I'm going to say call him dishonest. We know too much now. I don't know how old this is, but it doesn't matter. This guy, people who say this never really looked at what it is, or I would say more accurately, they don't care. They don't care to look because this guy is a misinterest. Or of their gender, then I take no issue in a but feminist. This always have been a feminist. There, there you go. He, there has been no evolution. He was always a feminist. And he made a name for himself, uh, faking that he was not a feminist. And now he realizes he, there's no cachet to that. So he is coming right out and saying what he always was. This guy has always been a hate monger. He just, like I said, he's one of those guys who wants to be exempt. Like Vosh, they're virtue signalers. Please get every other guy except me. And that is all we need to say about this.